Spotlight.com. I'm here with many people will say the next phenom, right? From boxing, Abdullah Mason. First and foremost, how excited to be back. I think it's six fights within 12 months span, five this year, all by knockout, essentially, you know, the previous fights. So how excited to be back? Man, it's 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 uh it's every day for me now, you know what I mean? I fight so often, so it's like so I'm just having fun with it, you know, we just mixing it up a little bit, figuring out what we implement. And so we're just going to have some fun tomorrow. You know, last week I left Baltimore and had a conversation with Coach Kenny. He told me, man, look, you're going to be a world champion. He said that confidence, repeated it many times. I feel like it echoes in the boxing. It's like an echo chamber. Right? You're really going to be like, one of the next, if not that guy that's going to show boxing, like what real skills look like. When you get all this praise on early on, you know, you're only like essentially just turned 20 not too long ago. How do you handle all that? Uh, you know, if you're doing something right, don't change it. You know, so we know to do more of, of what we're doing that's good. And, uh, you know, we appreciate all the support and uh, uh, everybody recognizing, you know, what what we got going on. So it's, it's just more of things that we already know. So we just make sure we stay focused and uh, keep doing what we're doing and put, throw more on top of that. You know, the activity factor. You're fighting so often, so much. I mean, people look at <laughs> fighters when they come up that fight that often. You know, Florida, I think, fought like 11 times in one year, which. You know, it's kind of absurd now, but just you're echoing that same type of activity and you're, you're getting sharper each time and things like that. Um, do you just naturally just see yourself next year repeating that same type of activity? Let's just... Um, you know, what, 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 what does fights that's uh, the tougher fights and you know the longer fights that last so long you're gonna have to give your body some time to rest and uh, give you give your body some space you know in between those long training camps so so it's no telling how it's gonna go but I plan to stay as active as I am now or as as, as active as I can be you know comfortable and uh, you know not, nothing comes to, to, to a sleeper but a dream you know so as long as we active, you're gonna keep getting somewhere. You know, you're a very humble guy, not a trash talker, but yeah. I think you put like a like an LOL or smiling laugh yeah. emoji, something on a Floyd <laughs> Schofield or, or something yeah. like that. No, there's a, been a, a little boxing rivalry, you know, no yeah. true disrespect, but you know, do you see that as a potential fight that you guys can meet down the line? And what did you think about this performance? Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, funny thing, I took that, I, I threw that comment on there just, you know, because uh. I feel like they be talking, you know, so I just felt it was funny to put that. I just took it off, but uh, I've been saying I was ready for it, you know, mm -hmm. so if they're ready, I'm ready. And you guys sparred before, and it, it doesn't really seem like they jumped to, to kind of make the we fight. Spar we sparred around, but uh, if they're ready, I'm ready. You know, with, um, you know, a lot of the guys on this card, um, you know, it's a Keyshawn Davis, you know, the lightweight division might change by the time you come up, or it might stay the same, you know, there's, there's, there's going to be Tank, you know, you know Shakur, Keyshawn, you know, Dennis Barachek, um, you know, you see yourself facing any guys in the I'll be ready for them all. I'll be ready for them all. When I get there, you know, we're taking it one step at a time. This will be my last eight-rounder. We're moving up to ten after this. Anybody in front of me, I'm, you know, just knocking them down one by one. My last, take them off. my last couple questions in regards of, you know, Gustavo Lemos came over six pounds, right? You know, six I, pounds? Yeah, over six pounds. I thought it was six ounces. Uh, I thought it was six pounds. Am I tripping? That was the first thing I heard. <laughs> six, six pounds? Six pounds. I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, it, it, I'm, I don't know what sport he think this is. You don't, you don't come over six pounds in boxing. I mean, Man, I, think, that's I, think, crazy. I think a six ounce would be... I, I thought I heard six a Six ounces, I mean, I... I thought you could mistaken it for six pounds, but I was pretty sure that was, you know, six no, ounces. It was, it was six pounds. I heard the one point. Oh, yeah, man. Six, what? Okay. I mean, okay. What, what does that do? Like, if your opponent came in six pounds, because I know in Virginia, there's a 10-day rehydration. Yeah, I mean, you got you to gotta punish him. You got to throw a little extra oomph on your punch. That's all. <laughs> you know, I know Devin took three pounds with the Ryan Garcia thing. Yeah, yeah, and, and, but, th but that that was a lot. You know, that's that's not really heard of all the time, you coming in overweight that much. You know, I mean, two, three pounds, maybe, you know, you, you get some people coming up that, that want to come in overweight, but six pounds at this level, you know, you don't want to do that. You think it's strategic? I know you was a 140 pounder, but... Possibly, possibly not. You know, everything you do is strategic, but at the same time, if you, you're, coming, you're coming down from 140, it's going to be kind of hard to make 135. Let, let's just say your situation is you, your whole entire you know amazing family of brothers boxing. So it's a, it's a five stack card in Cleveland, Ohio. You chose a tough opponent that was fighting for you know a potential eliminator. He comes in six pounds. Do you still make the show go on in Cleveland, Ohio? I'm gonna punish him. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do what I always do. Yeah. 
Awesome. And last thing, I just want to plug, you know, you, like I said, you got a brothers, you know, all fighters, you know, uh, just, you know, quick accepted, you know, we're, we're going to see that homecoming fight, maybe with all your brothers in Cleveland, possibly coming soon. Inshallah, for sure. Um, top rank looking to, you know, do a main event uh, next year. So 2025 is the breakout year, inshallah. So we just, just, just stay focused, you know, uh, we, we, we are allowing it to, allowing things to unfold. So we just ready. So yeah. appreciate it. Thank you.